So welcome to the retargeting preparation tutorial. Um, depending on where you got your character from, this might actually be done for you, but just in case. In fact, in most cases, it isn't. So open up the skeleton. You go Options, Show Retargeting Options. You notice they're all set to animation. So what I'm going to do is right click on the root, Recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. So every single bone is now set to skeleton. But we don't want every bone to be driven by the skeleton. Some of it we want to be driven by animation, such as the IK bones. There's a lot of stuff here, like say, if we were to... The, the stuff we don't want retargeted we would set to animation, so we could go through this all day because it's got a lot of extra bones, but I'm just going to cover the default Unreal one. So aside from those, the root is animation and the pelvis is animation. For this character, the entire backpack is probably animation too. It's just the retarget bones that are skeleton, except for pelvis and root. But the main thing is, everything is skeleton, the root and the pelvis is animation, the IK is animation. The next is the retarget manager, so you click this button here, and we get this. Under select rig, you want to select srig move it. Now because Wraith uses the Unreal Engine naming scheme, it's been filled in for us, but if your character uses a different naming scheme, you have to match these names or the corresponding joints. If you get strange retarget results, it's because you didn't, or because you got something wrong. For example, your character might only have two spine bones, and you might find that your pose is a little weird, so you switch which one goes where around here until you get the correct result that you want. And that's it for this tutorial. Short and easy.